Hey everyone, Terry and Joshua here to talk about tonight's big, big, big episode of Arrow. If you haven't seen it yet, get out of here. It's Arrow uh, 1159 is the name of the episode. And uh, let's just get into full spoilers. Yeah, full spoilers. Watch out, guys. And uh, have a moment of silence for our Black Canary. No, no! Oh, wait, that wasn't silent at all. That wasn't silent at all. That wasn't silent at all. Uh, I would be canary crying finally, all day. <laughs> we finally found out who is in the grave that has been teased all throughout season four. And uh, it's Laurel Lance. It's Laurel Lance, she's gone. How'd you feel? How'd you feel at that reveal? The moment of her death and everything kind of leading up to it was so sad. They really did that well. Mad props to the actress, Katie Cassidy. Um, I, I, I had like little tears in my eyes and especially her, her like final moments with the whole team just saying how much they love each other and um, you know just her little moment with, with, with uh, Oliver and, and sort of acknowledging their romance that didn't really work out. I just thought and that was like the right way to go, right? And it was really sad. It was definitely, definitely an emotional end. But I will say, like, I was reading some internet theories on who could be the one to die, and Laurel seemed like the most likely candidate. Uh -huh. um, so it was like a little bittersweet in that sense. But to me, the biggest disappointment is is Laurel came in as a character who was so important at the beginning, and she sort of as Felicity took over, lost her time in the spotlight, you know, purely just being a romantic interest. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they never quite figured out what to do with her. And then we had these great moments where, you know, she was lawyering again, like she had that great Damien Dark trial. And I was like, oh, they're figuring it out. And it, they were figuring it out because they needed to give her a good canary swan a song <laughs> instead of swan song uh, to go. But we did want to talk a little bit just about Laurel's arc as a whole, like how, how did you think the the series did or did not service her as a character? Well, yeah, I feel like in the beginning they tried to subvert our expectations because we know her as the Black Canary, but in the show they wanted to show how she got to that point. And then like you said, they just kind of got lost along the way and then they had started doing these other things. Oh, now she's an alcoholic, now she's this and that. And then this season I thought was probably her best season. I agree, um, yeah. And I loved like her training with Wildcat and she was like, she would, she would mess up while she, they were like on the job and fighting um, like like bad guys and stuff and getting in like life and death situations and she would have to learn from that and she would have to um, like really uh, like be like you could see her train and become the black canary we know so it's like finally she's in the suit she's kicking butt she's like learning her lessons she is getting like hit a lot she's getting knocked down but she's getting back up and it, you could kind of see the the black canary from the comics taking full form on the show and now they're like. Let's take that away. <laughs> I mean, those were my those were That's... some of my favorite moments, especially this season. Like we've, it's been a hard battle to get to the point where Team Arrow is Team Arrow and can work together. And some of my favorite moments from this year were just seeing them all go out aware of each other, super capable, total badasses, and just fighting crime and taking stuff on. And I, like I love that version of Black Canary. I love I love who we'd gotten to what we'd gotten to see of her this season. And I am really bummed that you know they've they've taken her off the show and it was sort of interesting because uh you know when we were watching this um we also had a chance to talk to mark guggenheim who's the the showrunner on it and a bit of news that came up before this this episode aired was that uh katie cassidy will be on the flash mm -hmm. as a doppelganger earth 2 doppelganger of uh laurel lance and then she'll also appear on vixen black siren black siren on the flash but which is sort of interesting right because there's been this ongoing conversation about how after like season two really death of arrow death stopped meaning much of anything in this sort of cwdc universe and but they did say i mean you can talk more to this as well yeah, but they, they did say this laurel lance death is this final is, yeah, this is permanent like i don't think we should expect this to be undone for a while um and i think that's fine and i know you said like death doesn't mean much but it really does because even though mm -hmm. sarah died She's back and she's very different now. Like right. she's like she's behaving differently because she was dead and came back. Um, but they did take away the Lazarus pit, mm -hmm. right? And they've shown that like there's people and things that police the time stream. So I don't think it's as easy as going back and like stopping her right. from dying. Um, even though I think they could if they really wanted to. Like that could I be think, season yeah. two of Legends of Tomorrow. I right? think if they really wanted to yeah. find a way to bring Laurel Lance back, they could. But I. I do hope, you know, if you're killing yeah. off this big of a character that it has permanence yeah. and weight. I think they killed her um, because of how it affected everybody. And uh, as, as a comic book fan, 
I'm upset <laughs> that, we, that they killed. As a like, show fan, I'm like, upset. You're, like, you're never supposed to, you're supposed to kill Black Canary. She's like, it's her and Oliver are supposed to wind up together this whole time, even though everything with all this city, I guess I, I figured at one point everything's going to turn and they're going to wind up together and it's going to be them together. It's going to be great. Nope, not anymore. Maybe that conversation <laughs> with, between Oliver and Laurel was for you specifically. Yeah. <laughs> like, listen, we know, I thought we were in game, but uh, enjoy yeah. Felicity, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but it is cool that we'll see Oliver alternate versions of her. Like we saw alternate Deadshot in that one episode. So yeah. he's dead, but he's alive in her too. So I'm always down for stuff like that. We're still gonna see more Katie Cassidy. Like you said, she's gonna be in Vixen too. Yeah, I'm really her role. excited to see her on The Flash. And also I hope, you know, I, I believe that we've heard uh, Quentin Lance is gonna be on Legends of Tomorrow and I hope. Oh yeah. Because there was that moment in Sarah the episode. Sarah has to find out. Sarah has to find out, but also there was that moment in the episode where Laurel tells Oliver, like I have, I have one request, you know, sort of oh, thing. Yeah. And we don't know what it is. And what my hope it? is that it's it's like, have, make sure Sarah finds out. Like, make sure, okay. and, and that we might be able to see oh. that on Legends. Th that's my conspiracy that theory. That's be, what I'm crossing my fingers for. That would be good. And then we can cry again yeah. together. What if? <laughs> what if? This is my last what if before we go. What if that when they go to Earth Two and meet Black Siren? What if she's fully formed Black Canary of how we've always wanted? and she's like awesome and like fully developed and then they just bring her over to Earth One. <laughs> <laughs> and really don't, they're yeah. like, well technically Laurel's death was permanent, but <laughs> yeah. that we're keeping Katie Cassidy on. Uh, I like that as your conspiracy theory, um, a, a good yin and yang to my very sad one. So those were our thoughts about uh, Laurel Lance's big, big hurrah. Uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments below and for all things Arrow, keep it here at IGN.